welcome to another fabulous lesson for algebra. Today you're going to learn how do I solve a multi-step inequality. Well, you have to do it carefully, accurately, and as Miss Oberly always says, like a boss. Here are your learning targets. Write these down and be sure you can do all three by the end of this lesson. Number one, I can solve a multi-step inequality with positive or negative coefficients. Number two, I can write and then solve an inequality. Number three, I can use the distributive property and the symbolic method to solve more complex inequalities. Warning to all students who take too many notes. Look at the top. It says do not take notes on this page unless you are really bored and by yourself. Hey, there's Miss Oberly. Many people have a base salary but also get paid on a commission. How many sales they make, they get extra money. If they want to make over a certain amount of money, they can use an inequality to find out how many sales they need. Did you know before teaching, Miss Oberly sold bling? Her employer, Holler Jewelers, paid her $50,000 per year plus $500 per sale. How many sales would she need to make to earn at least $100,000 to pay for her Ferrari? You can write this as an inequality. 50,000 plus 500 times X is greater than or equal to 100,000. Example number one. On the left, read the scenario, even though it says on the right. You do not need to copy the text on the left. I will read it to you, or you can read it to yourself. Then try to write an inequality to express it below and solve it. Example one, write an inequality to express the number of assignments Miss Johnson needs to grade if she currently earns a salary of $5,000 per month plus a 10% commission a commission of 10% for every homework assignment she grades. If she wants to make at least $6,000 per month, come on, you want her to make more money? Turn in those homework assignments. Think for a moment, and when you have it, write down the inequality and then solve it. Now may be a good time to pause. Here is the inequality you should have written. Hint. First, write down the base salary. Then, add her commission multiplied by the sale she makes. That should be greater or equal to the amount of money she wants to bring in, her income needed. 5000 that's how much she makes per month, plus 10%. Remember, percent gives you a decimal. A is for the amount of homework assignments she grades. That has to be greater than or equal to 6,000. We use the symbolic method to isolate our variable by taking away 5,000 from each side. Next, we have 0 0.10 times A is greater than or equal to 1,000. You divide by what is in front of A, but when you divide by a decimal, you actually are multiplying this by 10. And you should have got A is 10,000. You better do your homework so Miss Johnson gets more money. Good job. Example 2. Negative coefficients. Coefficients are the numbers in front of the variable. Over here you see a negative 11. It is the coefficient. What shall we do? Think and try to solve this. I will reveal shortly. You may want to pause. Pausing has ended. Here is the original inequality. 
You should know by now your first step is to add 13 to both sides. Next, you should have negative 11. Y is greater than 55. Here is the dangerous part. You know you need to divide by what's in front of Y, but since it's a negative, you need to reverse the inequality. Do you see that flipping? The sign changed direction. One direction says, don't space out. Notice how the symbol flipped directions when we divide by a negative. Don't forget that. Example 4, using the distributive property. Solve the expression on the left. Make sure you do the distributive property first. In order to do this problem, you must do that. Be careful or this can get messy. Anyone? Anyone? Hey, who stole example 3? I am going to reveal now the answer to this problem. Here is the original inequality. First step is to use the distributive pro pro property to expand to 12x minus 20 plus 7 greater than or equal to 8x plus 3. What do we do next? Well, you have some options. You need to combine the like terms. We see here we have a negative 20 and we add 7. That's negative 13. What shall we do? Pause if you like. Moving forward, we have to get that t alone. We have some choices. You could subtract 13 from, add 13 to both sides and get this. Or you could subtract 8t from both sides and get this. Okay, you see those two options. Both work. Next, you are down to 4t is greater than or equal to 16. You must divide by 4, and you get t is greater or equal to 4. Um, some cheering, please. Hooray! Thank you. The solution set is written as this, t, where t is greater than or equal to 4. Solutions such as 4 will work, 5 will work, 6 will work, negative 3 will not work. Do not have that as a solution. Moving forward, example 5. All reals, says Mr. For Real. Solve the following inequality. Shaquille O'Neal says, be real and listen to Freel. I will be revealing shortly if you need to pause. And here is the original inequality. You will notice in this problem, we have to distribute on both sides. Oh, no. Do so. And you should get 18. Well, you can see it. 18 minus 24C minus 12 is greater than or equal to negative 24C plus 6. We expanded both sides using the distributive property. Next, you combine like terms on the left, and you get 6 minus 24c is greater than or equal to negative 24c plus 6. Hmm, something looks fishy here. What should we do? Well, let's get those 6s out of the way, and we get negative 24c is greater than or equal to negative 24c. Well, they look identical. They match. That means any number will work for c. Put any number in there, and they will be equal. In cases like this, we say all real numbers are solutions. Your final example for today is example 6, the empty set and all reals. Solve the problem on the left. I would pause now. Try it. Possibly get frustrated. And then, be told, you can't solve it. That wasn't nice. Let us see here. If you try to solve the problem on the left, the solution will not make sense. That means it is an empty set. When the inequality results in a false statement like 25 is, greater, or is less than or equal to 13, we use this symbol, which means the empty set. That wasn't nice. How do I get good at this? Well, you need to practice. I am not good at the guitar because I don't practice. 
Practice solving inequalities. Create your own and solve them. Create a wor real world example like Miss Overly's bling sales or Miss Johnson's homework correcting. Create a real world example and change it into a math sentence using symbols. Where? Do this in class now and get help from your peers or you'll go home and not learn it unless you watch this fantastic video again. When? Right now. I already said that. Uh, you can also go home and Google point slope. Oh, that's old. Mr. Frail. Not going to Google that. You're going to Google solving multi-step inequalities. I shall fix that for future viewings. But I did update the link. Go to Khan Academy and click. And you should get to a page that looks like this. I am hoping it's right. There we go. Multi-step inequalities. They'll give you some to practice. You can see hints. You can see a video. Fantastic. It's been a pleasure as always. And work hard.